So today I'm talking about a P0024 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0024 code? Well, it's an exhaust B camshaft position timing over advanced bank two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called camshaft position sensors that just track the camshaft as it spins. So it reports this information back to the computer and the computer uses this information for timing. But when you get a P0024 code, one of these sensors, mainly on bank two, is reporting back to the computer that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing, that it's off, that it's over advanced. And so it's going to be troubleshoot to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one has always decided the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And with this P0024 code, bank two side of the engine is going to be the one having the issue. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0024 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. If the engine oil is low or if the engine oil is really dirty, it can cause issues with the variable valve timing, which can cause this P0024 code. So first thing to do is go check your engine oil, be sure that it's good, that it's at the correct level, and that it's not really super dirty. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing, that one of the components has failed or something like this. And this is going to include like the variable valve timing solenoid, the wiring going through the solenoid, the phaser, and things like this. These variable valve timing solenoids are a common problem, especially if the oil hasn't been changed regularly, because oil needs to flow through these in order to work properly. And if the oil in the engine hasn't been changed regularly, then it could clog this up and cause problems and different things like this. So a bad or clogged up variable valve timing solenoid can cause problems. There's also what's called a phaser, which is what the timing chain or timing belt ride on up on top of the engine. And this is part of the variable valve timing and can adjust the timing depending on what's going on with the engine. And if there's some kind of issue going on with it, then it can also cause problems. But the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. The timing belt or timing chain, these have timing marks that all need to line up. And if this gets off, if it slips a notch and it's a little bit before or a little bit after or something like this, then that's going to throw off the timing and cause problems. Also, what can happen with these timing belts or timing chains is that when they get really old, sometimes they could stretch. And when they stretch out, it can throw off the timing a little bit, which can cause like a P0024 code. So if your timing belt or timing chain is really old, then that might also be an issue. There's also sometimes these tensioners. If there's some kind of issue with it that it's not holding the belt or timing chain tight, then that has the same effect. It can throw the timing off. But the next thing on the list is a bad timing chain or timing belt. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with, with that camshaft position sensor on bank two, that it's gone bad and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. Usually if that camshaft position sensor goes bad, you're going to get other codes. But it is possible that it's just having some kind of issue and just reporting bad information back to the computer. These camshaft position sensors just track the camshaft as it spins and just report this information back to the computer. Also keep in mind that if there's any kind of issue in the wiring going to the camshaft position sensor, then that can also cause issues. But like I said, usually if there is a bad camshaft position sensor, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how to go about fixing an engine with the P0024 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.